Hello everyone. Welcome back. I don't know why I'm already in the water. Get the main screen. Come on those stairs. Hold that rope. But it's all good. Full sail. Full sail. Sir, the starboard shipwreck survivor. Starboard blood sun sail. Looks like that. Nice. All right. Welcome back. Oh, I couldn't wait another day, so I'm playing right away. Although we might have had to wait for a day to watch this. Let's do a story mission first, and then we'll, we'll go and plunder and upgrade our ship. We need more metal. We're headed straight for land. Trim the yards off the wind. Ow. Oh, he wasn't lying about heading straight for land. Here one, there it is. Yeah. Nice. Oh wait, I can kill. But I can't kill like this. Oh, but I can't skin. Oh, that's why I can't kill. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> How does facing away scan the island that's behind me? Salt Lagoon. Oh, I see a deer. Are you stuck? Well, 
that'll do. And how? And we're clear. Four four two one one eight. Okay then, let's get back. Hey, this guy's back. Proper defenses. Ooh, okay. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean... Proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. I just realized something. Wait. Yeah, I just realized something. I have watched the trailer for this long time ago. It just occurred to me that that guy who just spoke about the Spanish galleon who was sitting here. He's the guy who's telling the story of Edward. He's supposed to be Blackbeard or something. He's the one who tells the story, Jack this guy. Pinchner from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the He's the one that hurricane. narrates the story. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall of the trailer. As rich as men are saying. A thousand times. Because that. I just realized the voice is the same. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil, love. Her. Hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I looks like me. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. The gust is too strong. Oh no. Do I have to go through this? Oh, I do. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, there are no side missions, right? Damn it. No, there are not. Oh, I just have to locate the ship. Oh, I'm looking for a ship here. Oh, there's a... Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't sign your breaches, lads. I got this. It's a brig. Grounded all on! Aloft, lads! Check those royals! Against the wind here. Can I just do this? Fire! Oh, there we go. Hold down! Hold down! I found it. Holy shit, that's huge. You expect me to take that's that down? Monster. Look at the size of it. Aye, and we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, Kenway? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. 
Under cover of darkness, most likely. I may come at that. Crowd on every inch of sail! Crowd on all the sail we have! That ship is huge. But we do have the advantage. If can get behind it, I'll be perfect. Let's stick on the left side here. Oh, lots of bodies coming up. My bodies, I mean ships. Ah, oh, the wind is not favoring us at all, huh? Now we got it. Can we sneak past this? I like how it's a ship that has a line of sight and not the people on the ship. I guess nobody looking to the left or right, really? I'm trying to reduce target. Reduce distance to target. Oh, just on the edge. Perfect. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Turning is so fast, man. Do this. Oh, they got slaughtered. Avoid the mortar fire. When under mortar fire, the area of damage is represented by a circle on the water. The yellow circles announce incoming shots. Avoid them. When they turn red, you'll take damage. Oh god. now why am I sailing into it what am I doing look has gone to splinters sections crooked look they fire mortars captain 
Uh, you cannot fire the mortar at long range. Hold Q to activate the mortar and aim. Press that to shoot. Okay, side missions. Use. Uh, use heavy shot to sink ships, two of them. Use broadside to sink two boats. Use one broadside to sink two boats. Use one broadside to sink two boats. Oh, oh, that's difficult. We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Forget the galleon. Holy shit. Send these in to hell. Oh, okay. There you go. Ready to fire yourself. Can I get this? Can I get this? Fire! 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 The other one? Use heavy shot to see. Down to the string! Down they go! Ah, uh, let's get this one. One done. Can I get this? Challenges are hard. No! What? Oh man. Damn it. She's sailing for that island. I know the place. Natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. But I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. No, damn it. I tried. But those ships are too damn weak. Oh. Captain's trick. What the fuck? Leave their muzzles. I see a wreck, so windward and the lock. 
Who's attacking whom? Oh, the English and the Spanish. Oh shit, there's a tornado. Oh god. Oh god. Let's leave. But how far is it? Can I just... Oh shit, okay. That's very far. I can directly fast travel there. Oh, that's good then. Let's just... Oh, oh what a turn. Silent God. Okay, hit that one first. Is that a beaver? What? Okay. I forgot there's not origins. I can't just climb any rock. Probably make a list of all these. Oh, what? why aren't you attacking? How do I? Oh, 
go. You don't get too damn strong. Okay, there we go. Four? Where four? No. Mm, I wanted to loot the guy, man. What is that sound? thing over there all oh, that body's gone yep hey buddy Now that we have that, hmm, let's go here. Uh, the result is short. Ship though. Oh God! I hit those. Sudden gust of wind.
Oh, it's a suit, huh? Makes sense. But no ships, though. A single madman. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the king's council so unified. <laughs> Stay out of combat. Easy enough. Can you please get down, sir? I wish I could crouch just like in. Uh, buddy, your hoodie just came off. What? All the way above, okay. Hey, that's still possible. Oh, I hear... I hear fragment. There we go. Ooh. Oh! Jesus, I actually felt that a little bit. I climb here. That though.
What is it? Can I go through this? No, I can't. Like a ray of sunshine falling on the oh for real oh oh what what hello a white jaguar holy shit this though but I guess I won't get it anytime soon Get up there. The ah oh, from here. I see it. <sighs> Almost there. Ship, huh? Don't fall down. It's not loaded yet. No, no, they're not, not even rendered.
Non. No, what? how did he see me, bro? How did he see me? How did he see me? That was my bad. I was just trying to get to the edge to whistle. But it worked out anyway. Oh man, this is way too hard. Fuck it, let's just. Whoa. I assassinate you pass. Okay. 
Okay. This is going to take some time. Get. That was a little bit unnecessary. Come up. Why do I have to? Oh, my God. I think he's going to pass in front of this. Better if I go in the front of the ship. I'm gonna 
climb the ropes. Why lively? You don't know I'm here. That is a nice headpiece though. Up and go. Let's go. Oh no! What the fuck? I hope there's nobody up here. I feel like this is too high. the gift you gave me well it answers just fine Mr. Petra as bold as a musket ball and still half as sharp I'm sorry about this mate but I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around I pity you Bukenyi after all you have seen after all we showed you of our order still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue what's this is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. 
que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! Yeah. That took a while to I assassinate, but it was worth it. Hey! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. Oh, it's on no. the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But hey, the rest of this building can be confusing to first timers. So we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Is it this way? Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. My files. Employee passport. Passport for Abstergo employee. Holy shit. Is that... No. I'm not going to be reading all that. Floor 15, holy shit, okay. Hello? Hi? Testing, testing. Is this thing working? <coughs> this is John from IT. We met earlier. I, I was calibrating your animus. I'm sort of the, uh... Scotty of this Abstergo Enterprise, in charge of all the techie stuff. Do you have a minute? Oh, ah, oh. oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Yeah, well, I'm not in a hurry. Over here. Oh. Wait, what? Do I have access to that room? Oh, wait. What is this? Toilet. The toilets. Ah. Will I get to do some missions here as well? That would be awesome. Is something wrong? No. Shut up, please. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the. But this is, but this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. <sighs> wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. Looking forward to seeing you too. Assassin's Creed 1. Take care, let's see ya. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I reviewed some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family friendly. Yo, what a view. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. 
more of a ladies man. Holy shit. A beautiful city, no? Yep. Where are we? So the main reason I asked you here concerns something called the observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Those cars are going through each other. Oh, There's no sir. traffic system. What the hell is happening? Oh, oui, bien sûr. So, Epsirco Industries is the main Templars group. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you too. Okay. A locked door. <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do too. Don't abuse it. Ah. Log on and I'll walk you through this. Okay, okay. I think I know where this is going. I will get level 2 security clearance at some point and I will be able to access those rooms, the security rooms. Are these even legible? No. Oh wait, this is mine. Oh wait, this is not. What is this? Oh. Oh, these are other people. Will I be able to access them after I do it? Same books over here. Yo. I don't know who these Log are. On now, will ya? Okay, fine, I'm logging now, in. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. What? Oh. What? Get the data moving in an infinity loop around the sphere. Blocker, possibility for infinite loop. Player avatar. Once your data moves in a specific direction, it will continue moving until it reaches an obstacle. The teleporter blocks are in pairs. When your data passes through one of the teleporters, it will be teleported to the other one, retaining direction and movement. Teleport. Let's just say I understood all that. And I did it apparently. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case <gasps> reporting on Subject Desmond. 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. 
Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and seven minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease. Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> That's nice though, but like, I like how, oh my god, <laughs> I like how they, oh, how they explain. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See, that file you acquired, I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, uh -huh. not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. Uh-huh, okay. I like how they killed off Desmond, but they still explained how the other Assassin's Creed games can continue by using his DNA from the blood and the saliva. Okay, let's try to do it properly this time. So it keeps going forward. There we go. But I knew you'd hurt me. 
He didn't say anything. You just checked your watch, you reached for your drink, you took a sip, and then you kept reading. But I knew I'd failed. You didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't understand why. Then I lunged and tapped you on the shoulder, and you turned around and, oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up and you gave me a big hug, and I didn't say anything. But Dad, Dad, I was so pissed off. I wanted to scream at you. I, I failed, and you knew it, but you said nothing. And I stayed mad for weeks. I thought you were, you, you were patronizing me. But maybe you decided right there that I was never going to be the man you wanted me to be. But I realized just a few years ago that you checking your watch, that was the clue, wasn't it? You let me win because I had been so patient. And I guess that impressed you. You know, maybe at that moment you thought it might be better to be my dad instead of my mentor. I, I don't really know. Maybe for you, they're, they're one and the same. You know, either way, I'm happy to know that both my mentor and my dad are looking out for me that day. I didn't understand that then. I think I do now. His dad was there in part 3. I remember that. Uh, let's hack yours now. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, what are we looking for over here? How does this work? Okay. There we go. Oh. What? Why is there a picture of the Pope? Pope Alexander the Sixth. Rodrigo Borgia. Yeah. It's the auditorium. Wow, okay. Great minds. Ooh, there's more computers over there. Morning. Wait, what? All oh, right, okay. Ah, uh, yep. See. It's a bit rude making the courier wait. Man, all right, fine. You know what? Here you go. Sticky note. Oh, sticky note. That was a sticky note. As our tools are genetic expressions of our mental cult cultural activity and as we are expressions of their mental cultural activity, it must necessarily follow that this world as it is now and as it is as it ever will be is an expression of the first will, an expression of their labors and thus belongs not to us but to them. The wires, the cables, the data networks that now crisscross the globe are hers. They must become her bo body and her mind. Hmm. Weird. Let's go, we'll be hacking. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them 
or they will destroy your data and send it back home. What? Oh. Am I playing chicken? Oh my god. Isn't that like a game? Chicken Crossroads or something? Am I playing that now? Oh no. Let's get to the center. Always get to the center. Let's look at the, okay. Target position, security program, security program that changes states, game, area, edges. It's even called a game. Wow. And let's get stuck over here. Big gap coming up. Another one. There you go. Why did you take it? Who made you take it? I took it of my own free will. With no constraint. I prefer a man's strength to a woman's. You made an oath, Jeanne. You swore to never again dress as a man. I never meant to swear that I would not resume the practice. Why have you done so? Because it is more lawful and suitable for me to return to the practice of wearing a man's dress. Being always among men, than to have a woman's dress. I have resumed it because the promise made to me has not been. How is he? Our three doing well. Are we still in 18th century Hungary? No. His connection is so stable, he's jumped between a few ancestors today. We're in 15th century France now. Turns out he's related to one of Joan of Arc's executioners. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, I mean. Yesterday, Vidic asked me to help him work out some of the bugs in his audiovisual renderer, uh, and I told him... No, no, no. Come on, Satish, not you. It wouldn't be permanent. A, a few months at most. Months? That will kill every ounce of momentum we have. It won't, I promise. Honestly, I think this could help us. If, if I can get a look at what these people are doing, we could... Come on. He's trying to pull you over to his side. Don't you see that? He's luring you with quick victory and prestige. That's not what this is about, honestly. I need to get back to work. Eileen, I'm sorry. Do what you must. I'll survive. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, April 2nd, 1981. Host Eileen Bach, DNA sample SV1970. Miriam. Miriam, are you awake? What? Miriam, they're coming for me. Who is? The guards? I see them from my window, amassing in the courtyard. My time is up. Basil, don't say this. You don't know that. Forgive me for this, Miriam. But I must tell you something. The artifact. We have it. But only Oscar and I know its location. Don't tell me. They will release you. Your family has connections. You must take the artifact and bring it to the assassins in Paris. Please don't. I don't want to know. It's safer if I don't. Hush now. If I die, knowledge of its location dies with me. You must bring it to the assassins. Assassins? I don't understand. It's a spy of St. Petrus. No, I don't want to hear. Sam, seven. Seven. Hello? Eileen, hi. It's Carl. Carl, I know it's you. Sorry, you just sound exhausted. Did I wake you? No, no, I'm... I've just been busy. It sounds like it. I'm just a little tired, that's all. No, I mean, your your project sounds fascinating. Your colleague, Dr. Warren Vidic, he called me recently and he told me what you've been up to. He what? 
Warren? Yeah, he told us about your research, memories, ancestry, all of that. He even asked if we'd be willing to come in and... No! Jesus, no! What the hell is he doing? Eileen, it's okay. We signed some papers, non-disclosure stuff. No! He's trying to fuck me over. Damn it! Eileen, we just talked about my mother, just like you and I did. World War II. That's all. It's the artifact. The what? Carl, if he calls you again, you tell him you work through me, okay? That's it. Vidic has been a pain in my ass for years. And I don't need him getting all the glory for my two years of hard work. All right. Uh, so how should I go about this? I mean, the wheels are in motion. I... I don't know. Just go through me if he contacts you again. Please? All right. You'll do that? Of course. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I'm sorry I was short with you. I've just been exhausted. That's all. It's all right, hon. Just... just take care of yourself. Morning, Eileen. We're almost ready. Just a few more adjustments. Hmm. Okay. I had the team do some research on this artifact we've been chasing, and it appears the Third Reich actually found something matching its description sometime in 1940. Uh, Eileen, are you all right? Sorry, yeah. I'm fine. Just a little... scattered. Biddick called my ex-husband last night. He wants to put him in the Animus. To find the artifact before us? Exactly. Well, it would be faster using Vidic's animus. And maybe that would get us back to our original work. Satish, if we let that happen, then all our money dries up. Lillian is paying for us to find the artifact, not improve our methods. Do you understand? Right, of course. I'm sorry. Let's just... let's just burn those bridges when we cross them. Are we ready? Yes, just a few more adjustments, and you're in. I made a small change to the genetic input modulator. I'm hoping that buys us a few more minutes. Even a few seconds would be nice. I'm ready. All right. Settle in. Subject zero. The first. It's a bit rude making the courier wait. Yeah, yeah. It's been a few weeks since the last recording. Sorry about that. Of course, I guess it's just a few seconds for you. A leap down the playlist. Um, anyway, uh, I was talking about Clay. Casmerica, uh, subject 16. So, when I fell into a coma back in Italy and woke up in the Animus Black Room, it was uh, so calming. It felt like I... Uh, had woken up into a dream, a haze, a, a dream where none of this mess had ever happened. Uh, felt like I should just be getting ready for another day of pouring drinks in bad weather and uh, another day of complaining about being between girlfriends and wondering what the hell to do with myself. But uh, when I saw Clay, just sitting there, it started to come back you know, piece by piece, and when he told me about Lucy, I, uh, <laughs> fuck, you know, it, it hurt, you know, you know, realizing that I killed her, without thinking or feeling anything, not at the time anyway, well, and things just kept piling on, more memories of Ezio and Altair and the first civilization. And then right before he vanished, Clay passed on his memories to me. He showed me everything he had seen and lived through. And it was, it was brief, but 
overwhelming. Not really sure how to explain. He saw glimpses of Adam and Eve and their escape from slavery. He saw the beginning and the end of the war between the first Civ and humans. He saw Minerva, and Juno, and Tinia trying to work out their their calculations. At least that's what they called them. They, they had these tools, these powerful uh, machines that could predict possible futures. Not what was going to happen, but what, uh, what, what could happen. Probabilities. And, well, they spent a lot of energy trying to figure out what was the most likely scenario for the future. Theirs and ours. And in the end, I guess they figured I was their most likely candidate. Some guy named Desmond, living at the beginning of the 21st century of the Common Era. But which Desmond was the right one? Because, you see, probability is a weird thing. It can branch out in so many ways. Which version of me did they need? Was it the Desmond who got married early and had a son? One who stayed single in New York? Or, or was it the Desmond who moved to San Francisco to be a waiter? Maybe uh, it was the Desmond who worked at an auto body shop in Chicago, or maybe it was the me who never ran away from his parents in the first place. First Civ had countless variations to choose from, but in the end, the uh, lucky one was me. I'm the Desmond their best calculations spit out. I'm the Desmond they left their messages for, and I guess I have to live with that honor. Also now, hey, liberation. Yo, that's awesome. What else we got here? Uh, You're just being ridiculous now. Jesus, all right, man, I'll go. I guess I'm gonna meet them, those, uh, those people. Shit, you could use some practice. Oh, look who's here. Hey, isn't that Sean? Yes, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. That is Sean. I knew it. And don't expect yeah. any more free coffee. And that's Rebecca. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Chicago. They know what they're doing. Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful. You're a miracle. No, no, no. That's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. That's Rebecca, she's the one who manages the animus in part 2, I think? Since part 2. Any... thing here? Nope. Okay. Let's go back then. Now it makes sense why it's called Sample 17. I was thinking like, wasn't Desmond Subject 17? I've hacked most of the computers. Assistance on level 2, Project Echantillon 17. Support to the second floor, Sample 17 project. Oh, you're working?
Okay. Wow. You guys look exactly the same. Why are you all dressed like Desmond? Hoodie, baggy pants. You got a hoodie too? No. Battle of Havana, finding the sanctuary. What are you doing? Same thing? Okay. How beautiful this building is. Oh, let's see. You have six. You also have six. That's mine. So six here. There's only four here. Hmm. That's enough to trigger a bleeding effect, man. You need to be cautious. They've made progress on that front, but there's always a danger. I can't see. Excuse me, sir. Jesus Christ. Get out! My God. All right, let's go. I got three. If there was a way I could get more, I don't know how to do it. Oi, where are you going? The market? No, I. My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked the farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life? All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Oh. Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. I will make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. Hello, James Kidd. Damn, he fast. He or she or they. <laughs> Another drunkard. I'm not a drunkard. What a bitch. How did you find that? You were nowhere close. Come on, man. Yo. Okay, is that another one of those? Odd looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. 
clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. <laughs> I already solved two before, but sure. Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Deep into my heart. Until you see and hear a kind of shimmering. A shimmering? You understand? I think so. I've seen its like before. Glowing like moonlight on the ocean. Ah, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Uh -huh. yes. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden. Ah, oh, I cut off this dialogue. Damn it. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. Okay, that's three. Whoa, okay. This is the entire map? Holy shit. I'm over there. I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. I found something else just here. I think you'll say it to I would like to capture that first. So you go on ahead, James Kid. I would like how the hell do I There it is. The wild goose. Oh. Now this has the makings of a mystery. It's good, isn't it? Only wait till you see what lies at the end. How are you so fast? Whoa. Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Cass was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of de Cass, wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Or a pair of anguish. <laughs> Whoa. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. Well, that's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could? If it leads me to the four other keys. Oh, Bad okay. excuse is better than none at all. Ah, assassin encampments. Give me some good amount of money, boy. Ah, that's decent enough. Unlock the Templar armor. Okay. Let's 
get that right over there. over there but I got a fast travel idea let's get to the ship and then from the ship we go there no oh, that's your ship huh leaving already I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made men. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory? I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude, just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. 20 degrees, three minutes off, wow. All right. That was not way. What? What is that? What are you, boy? Spare a moment, Captain. What are you? Cove upgrade. Oh, cove upgrade. I've been needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster we have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. Sure, 500. Let's go. Oh, tavern. Spare me your jugs just a wee bit. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. How much? 3,500. Okay. You done an old salt proud cap. What game we got? Check this. Making it worth your while too. Long Ben's phone simple. And we got oh, information. Why can I get you? Cap what do you got? A moment. I'll not play Duck and Drake with you, Cap. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment. All right. If you say so. We got that. What we got over here? A good captain. He takes care of his men. Yes. The sailors are a peu dissatisfied that there are no women of comfort here. I know just where to find them, but we need to build them a home. Oof, fifteen thousand. Wants to build a brothel. Bro, keep it in your pants, boy. See might do you good. Been thinking, Captain. Why not build ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach? The lads would be a better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. You savvy? Hi, savvy boy. There you go. 7,000? For that? Damn. <laughs> Hiring drunken pirates. Pirate groups is now free. Oh, let's go. That's awesome. 
That is awesome. Okay. Uh, what is this? Where is it? Oh wait, what? Where is the damn door? Over here. This still doesn't quite feel like home. Six thousand. Renovate, okay. All right. Okay then. What, again? Metal! Let's go! Let's do the upgrades. There were some upgrades available for my ship. You suck, Edward. Fine. Buy injector upgrades. Oh, is it the same? Oh, it's the same. I can just do it. Ah. Uh... Okay, let's get the swivel strength. Heavy shot. Let's get mortar storage. I think that. Ooh, appearance. Crimson sails, eh? Shall we? Yeah, let's get Crimson Sails. Why not? Crimson Sails, okay. And... Ah, uh, I don't have money for the figurehead. I guess I might need them, so I'm just gonna keep them. Uh, let's get the uh, ooh stripe sails, phoenix figurehead. Let's get this one. Alright, I think this is where I'm gonna stop. I'm. Um, I spent fifty thousand already. Jesus. Alright, this is where I'm gonna stop. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.